What's up, you guys? It's Kyra Loves You, and I'm here with one of my favorite people on this earth, Robbie J. Lou. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. Gonna raise it. Yep. There's the all in. I call. Call. She calls? Well, it's the day after your most famous mm -hmm. anniversary of all besides mm -hmm. your wedding. Yeah. The Jack Four incident. Yeah. Um, Twitter went crazy. Everybody went crazy. Want to grab your thoughts on everything? Um, you know, like I think it's come full circle, and I'm finally at this place where I feel really like I've had a full closure about the whole incident. And the river breaks out again. Does she have Jack Four? Whoa, that's oh look God. at Garrett's face. That is Jacob, you look like you want to kill me. I'm mean, not Jacob. I'm mean, like you look like you want to kill me, Garrett. And the very best things have actually actually happened to me this month, which is kind of nuts. So it's like kind of like the perfect timing that it came around. I almost didn't even realize that we were coming up to the anniversary until I was reminded of it. And you know, it is the morning after and I'm not hungover. It was a very internal, um, single handed, impulsive, intuitive call. Um, and here we are, and it is the call that will, I guess, forever be received as the Robbie. Yeah, you know, it's kind of <laughs> weird. You know, it's such a pivotal, uh, pivotal moment in poker history mm -hmm. already one year later that we actually have an anniversary of this type of moment because the game changed for a lot of people after that, especially when it comes to live streaming. Mm -hmm. um, you hop on Twitter that day. What was your first thoughts um, when you saw the tweet from Garrett? Um, so it was sent to me. I actually didn't, because I don't follow him, so it's not going to just show up on my feed. Uh, it was sent to me by a couple of people and uh, with, you know, obviously whatever their remarks were regarding. I thought it was extremely, um, I don't even know how to say it, but I, a very aggressive, threatening, absurd. I almost wondered if he was sober. Um, I don't really think he was, but then again, I, I have no idea. Maybe that is just who he is. And I found it kind of like well I actually spoke to my legal team that day and they think that he was instructed to do that tweet to be perfectly honest but um and to stand his ground because he's so priced in and it was you know people were sending me articles about how people don't know like the psychology around why you can never admit fault and things like that uh but whatever it was I I sadly I, I was happy he made a tweet like that because it really kind of emphasized his character and I felt like I didn't need to say anything like he said it himself and he dug his own grave in a, yeah in a way. and your uh, your famous response now happy anniversary uh got a good kick out of everybody yeah i really did not think it would i mean I, I i was thinking about kind of do i put out a tweet um i know everybody was kind of waiting and anticipating for me to say something and i just didn't know what i could say what uh, what more i could say that hasn't already been said i had just done another podcast and you know, spilled everything all over again. And I'm like, I, I just don't know if I needed to give it any more emphasis what, since everybody else was like from between like poker news and, and all of the other, uh, other like news, like, you know, sources that were around, they were already giving it so much emphasis and everybody was talking about it. Um, but I knew that somebody was waiting for me to say something. And it, it was really instinctual for me to respond that way. I, I called my team and I asked them if I if that was a good idea and um, they said that it's short and sweet to do it and um, I can't believe it went as viral as it did and it just kind of hijacked his entire <laughs> comment section and I think it was just I really meant it you know because at the end of the day it is our it is the anniversary of that particular day and I no longer feel traumatized from what happened i feel like everything that happens for a reason and for me what ended up happening ultimately at the end was a really really good thing for me um and i i, I do think it's an anniversary that will now be celebrated yeah you know a lot of things change for you obviously for the positive and the loss to the poker community was we no longer got to enjoy garrett on streams mm -hmm. and playing anymore is there any like remorse or like empathy for him not playing anymore um, I just really didn't know Garrett before the stream. So so you have to understand that like I, I, I my only experience with him was when I was on stream with him. Um, and the first two times were fine. I, I knew that there was a particular character um, that he had and the level of arrogance that was very, very evident upon meeting him. But you know, he was kind enough. Um, and I, I, I don't think that there was a loss because I, I never miss I never enjoyed his 
like appearance on on television so to speak even before the stream i feel like if anything it got better when he was gone and i feel like more people were accepted and i feel like more people had an opportunity and more people felt more comfortable being themselves and there was less fear and more excitement and and now hcl is is really a stream that's unbeatable um I think it was already getting there, but I feel like more than anything, they have now added so many aspects and components to it that make it more uh, readily available to a general public that may not have been comfortable sitting there with him. Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm a fan of all streams. Mm -hmm. um, I hope, look forward to seeing you on more streams. I, do, I, I would love to be. I've, I've loved the streams that I've gone on since then, and I look forward to going on additional streams as well. Um, and I, I think it's kind of fun because I, I said this a little bit earlier, I think HCL kind of I know that there was other streams, but it really kind of like it, it sort of catapulted this new idea of what live stream can look like for the vast masses, including several recreational players and not just very good professional poker players. Yeah, definitely. Um, anything else on the up and up for you coming into 2024? Yeah. Things that we could look forward? <laughs> um, so there is a documentary coming out. Obviously, there'll be a book and, and there's a lot of other things that my agent's kind of looking into. I've been trying to limit the conversation around the hand, but it seems that there's still a lot of interest and curiosity around it, especially from the general public that doesn't really know what, um, what is happening inside of the, uh, the poker industry. And I think that now that poker is growing, that it's going to probably be more of a popular topic and might even be new news to others. So that's that's one thing. I'm, I'm doing a lot of business adventures that are uh, or ventures that are po poker related and I will be traveling to all of really the main um, events like, you know, WPT coming up and going to EPT Cyprus next month and, and awesome. things like that. So I'm going to be out there and um, I'm going to be available to anyone that wants to play with me or stalk me and uh, and uh, you'll this is not the end of me. You'll only see more. Well said, everybody. Thank you so much for viewing. Make sure you follow Robbie on everything and support her future uh, endeavors. Um, last question, Robbie, before we let you go. Mm -hmm. Which hand would you most likely play, Jack-4 or Octocrab? I, um, well, in your presence, I play Octocrab. And actually, right before we recorded this, I uh, won a hand with that, and I did it just for you, Kara. So I told did you it guys, just for you. play your Jack um, Fours, play your Octo Crab. But I feel like in the right setting, I will I will try to win with Jack Four because that's what people try to do with me, and I think that it it, it still instills that level of excitement in others. I got a lot of uh, calls and texts yesterday about how everybody was playing the Jack Four game in honor of the anniversary. So um, you know, if anyone wants to do that, they can continue to do that. Other than that, if you're at a table with me, I'll likely play Jack Four. There you guys go. Said well. Thank you guys so much. Robbie, if nobody loves you, Kyra loves you. you. Thank you guys. Thank you.